What's going on everyone and welcome into the Stock Trends channel. Hope you're having an amazing day. Hope you're doing better than SPCE Virgin Galactic this past week. In today's video, we're gonna be diving into this stock, current price targets, current sentiment, current investor actions, and of course our technical analysis is the selling pressure over. Okay, so this stock, obviously we had the flight, we had the space launch, we had all that stuff last weekend. Stock pops up Monday morning, hits up to just shy of 60, and then falls all the way off. We have some of these lines in here as prior areas of resistance, prior areas of support, but we've fallen below those areas of support now, and so we need to determine some new areas of support to look out for. If we do zoom in, what we do see is that it actually hit $30 per share on the nose here in the after hours. So SPCE sitting just north of $30 per share after this stock nearly touched $60 per share early Monday morning in pre-market. If you don't have access to pre-market trading, you can get access to that with this Webull platform. There'll be a link in the pinned comment and description box to get access, sign up, deposit five bucks, and get two free stocks in the process. No brainer if you don't already have access to it. This allows you to trade from 4 a.m. all the way to 8 p.m. So full pre-market, full extended hours, all that stuff. Okay, great. That said, now here's what we got. Let's dive into some sentiment. What are investors doing? What are some price targets? What are our analysts saying? And then of course, what do we think based on the current price action and based on the chart? This really was a big shakeout, it was also kind of a short squeeze stock. Wall Street Bets was talking about it for a while, past couple of weeks. It does have a decent amount of short interest, but I think this may be setting on up into next week. We'll take a peek here. So here we go. We're getting a five out of 10 on the tip rank smart score scale. This is the platform we use to do all of our research. We'll leave it linked down below as well in the description box and pinned comment. So we can kind of see two pretty substantial, you know, push-ups on SPCE over the past couple of months and followed by, you know, pretty big sell-offs. Now, obviously we did sell off all the way down to sub $20 back in May. Will we get there? I mean, we're honestly getting kind of close to that. We're only 10 bucks off at this point. So we will see. But that said, right now we have to look at what analysts are saying. Do we have any recent analyst price targets? We actually kind of do. So as of late, we have gotten some reiterated price targets. In the past week, we have gotten reiterated price targets by three analysts, all indicating buy ratings. And a lot of those ratings actually from the current levels are significantly higher. 68% upside, about 59% upside right there. And then we have some ratings from a little while back. This is actually now prior to the successful launch. These were holds, which were actually downgrades from what they originally had, but they still, at least as of right now, would indicate upside from the current level. So that's what we have as of late. After that, we have to go back two months ago. At this point, somewhat irrelevant, as we've had some pretty big updates. The FAA gave clearance for you know passenger flights to space, and we had the recent test flight um, go, go well. So this, obviously, I would say we can kind of discount some of these. Uh, really, these three that came out recently are now taking into account the recent test flight and everything as we've seen so far. So that's cool. What are investors doing right now? Well, we're seeing that as the stock is pulling back, you know, not surprising, we are seeing decent selling pressure across the board. So top investors are selling their SPC the past seven days uh, and the past 30 days. Now it kind of makes some sense if you're in from much lower and you're taking profits. Uh, however, you know, that's also why we are seeing, you know, the price action the way it's going. Take a look at all investors though. We are seeing all across the board, all investors are actually overall increasing their position as of late. And I think as the stock is dipping down, we're starting to see more people get interested in the stock the lower it goes, especially with some of those price targets, you know, indicated up over 40 bucks and the stock pushes down towards 30. It starts to become a little more appealing to somebody who's thinking maybe about the longevity of this and space in general, right? And thinking this as, you know, the technology that I think, you know, will be uh, widely, widely utilized going forward through the future. So people are starting to price in the future and people are thinking ahead. And I think that's why we're seeing some people starting to buy these dips. And I think that may also start to, you know, increase going forward. Back to our chart over on Webull. Let's take a look at the one year, one day chart. And let's see if we zoom into this, we literally will just see a stock that is going straight down. It is not looking good. We're not really showing much signs of, you know, holding up support, holding up an area, right? So we kind of have, you know, to wait and see for that to happen, obviously. Okay. If we start to see that SPCE starts to hold up around 30 bucks, 
That will be obviously something we're watching to next week. But until then, this looks quite volatile and we are still in a downtrend. We are still putting in lower lows, lower highs every single day this past week. Until that ends, that's what we have to be watching for, okay? So we're seeing the volume starting to fade off, lower volume on Friday, only 48 million shares traded. However, on Monday, we had just about 135 million shares traded on SPCE. We do have a line set down here that was a prior key level that would be down towards $20. I don't know if that does end up being hit. We'll have to watch. I think 25 could be a good area to watch for. Psychological level, we have a gap on the chart right here. If we do draw in that line, that horizontal line across 25, it is going to probably line us up with some key levels. Let's put that in right there. It's kind of an area right here, this little gap up right here, support right there, it, this gap right here. Yeah, 25 is a key level. So let's see if 25 holds up on SPCE. Below 25, there should be an area down towards $20 that we'll see some support. That's something we'll be watching going forward. But if you're someone who's looking to actively trade this stock in the short term and trade the trend, right now the trend's not in your favor. So if we zoom ourselves in and look at a shorter time frame, let's look at the 30 minute chart. What are some key you know, levels to watch going forward on SPCE that we can start to say, okay, if we start getting above this level, we'll have to start watching. That could be signaling a reversal. Okay, let's look at some of these highs, $33.30 and then a high right here up around 34. So if SPCE gets back up 35, 36, I think that's a key level. 36 is also a key level that we had before that we did kind of help, try to hold up a couple times in pre-market here in after hours back earlier in the week and then eventually just plummeted on through and that was on Wednesday. If we get up to that level, that's going to be an area of resistance. Obviously, these highs that we have right here will be areas of resistance to watch. We get back up towards that level and start to hold up. That will be a better and stronger price action type movement we'll be watching for SPCE. Looking at the one hour chart, pretty much the same type of deal. If we do start pushing back up towards that 36, that was a prior our area of consolidation back in here up towards that 36 then we'll have resistance up towards 42 as we start getting back up into a prior area of support prior support becomes new resistance when you are below so if spce does make a pop back up those areas to watch. I would not be surprised if things do calm down for quite some time if there's not much new news. Obviously, we just had an offering being done by SPCE raising $500 million. Uh, that is also what's going on behind the scenes. That's why the stock fell off quite a bit on Monday. We talked about that in prior videos, talking about why uh, the potential was there for that, and they uh, they took advantage of that, and we kind of saw it coming as they we knew. This is expensive stuff. They're going to need to raise some capital, and $500 million is what they ended up doing. So let us know in the comment section down below if you are holding SPC, your thoughts, where you would like to be buying this stock, where you would sell the stock, and obviously if it's a stock that you're thinking about for the longer term. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Hit that thumbs up button and consider subscribing for more videos just like this. Check out any links and resources down in the description box below. We also have links to our other channels. Those channels, if you like the content here, good chance you like the content over there. We'll see you guys in a future video.